Launch a gates in Minecraft. What's up, everyone? BLB here, and welcome to my video on Launch a gates in Minecraft. Now, this video was intended to be a series of shorts, but I can't really upload shorts in the appropriate aspect ratio, so I have to upload them as normal videos and then cut them into shorts. So what I'm going to do is just upload all of these into one video and then cut it into several different shorts. Now, yeah, if you're watching this entire video on Logic Gates in Minecraft, then I'm going to say Logic Gates in Minecraft before I go over each and every individual circuit. So get used to hearing Logic Gates in Minecraft, and I hope you enjoy the video. Logic Gates in Minecraft, the NOT gate. A NOT gate is an inverter. It accepts the input and outputs the opposite. Now this one's really quite simple. Us redstoners use it all the time. All we need is a solid block with a redstone torch on it. We can feed our input into that solid block, and we use the redstone torch as our output. This is a NOT gate. Logic Gates in Minecraft. The AND gate. And the way an AND gate works, all inputs must be positive in order for the output to become positive. Now to build this one, we'll just need a row of three solid blocks with a torch on either end of that row and some redstone dust in the middle, and one torch coming off the side of that block. Now we just feed our redstone lines into each of those torches, and we'll take our output from the redstone torch on the side. This is an AND gate. Logic gates in Minecraft, the NAND gate. Now an AND gate is the same as an AND gate, but the output is inverse. So essentially you just got an AND gate combined with a NOT gate. Now to build this one in Minecraft, we're gonna go ahead and start off with three solid blocks the same way we did with the AND gate. And we're gonna put a torch on either end of that row of blocks with some redstone dust in the middle. Now we'll feed our inputs into both of those blocks that those redstone torches are on and we'll use this redstone dust on top as our output. This is a NAND gate. Logic gates in Minecraft. The OR gate. Now with an OR gate, at least one input must be positive in order to give a positive output. All inputs could also be positive. Now do I really even need to show you guys how to build this one? All you have to do is connect all the redstone lines and run it to the output. This is an OR gate. Logic gates in Minecraft, the NOR gate. Now a NOR gate is the same as an OR gate, but the output is inverse. So essentially we're just making a NOR gate combined with a NOT gate. Now to build this in Minecraft, we just need a solid block with a redstone torch on the side. We'll run our inputs over that solid block. And we'll use the redstone torch as an output. This is a NOR gate. Logic gates in Minecraft, the XOR gate. Now with an XOR gate, only one input can be positive in order to give a positive output. If both inputs are positive, the output is negative. Okay, to build this one, we're gonna need two solid blocks, three blocks apart with redstone torches on the side, feeding into one redstone line. We're gonna have that redstone line feeding onto another solid block with a redstone torch on its side. And we're gonna have that sitting right next to a sticky piston facing upwards. We're gonna need a solid blocks leading from our inputs all the way up next to the side of that sticky piston and then two more leading towards the output. We're going to need another one on the face of the sticky piston with a repeater leading into both sides of that solid block and one leading out of that solid block. We're going to use that as our output, then run our inputs all the way up to those repeaters. And this is an XOR gate. Logic gates in Minecraft. The XNOR gate. Now with the next NOR gate, all inputs must be the same, be it positive or negative, in order for the output to be positive. Essentially, this is the same as an XOR gate combined with a NOT gate. All right, to build this one, we're going to start out with two solid blocks, three blocks apart from one another, with redstone torches on their side facing one another into a redstone line. We're going to bring that redstone line right up on top of another solid block with a redstone torch on its side. And then we're going to have a sticky piston facing upwards right next to that. We're going to bring a, so a line of solid blocks from our inputs all the way up next to the side of that sticky piston on both sides. Then two more solid blocks coming out for our output. Another solid block on the face of the sticky piston. A repeater facing into both sides of that solid block. Another one coming out of that solid block facing into another solid block with a redstone torch on its side. That is going to be our output. We will run our inputs all the way up to those repeaters. 
And this is an XNOR gate. And I hope you guys enjoyed that video and, and you found it helpful. And uh, I'm sorry you had to keep hearing logic gates in Minecraft. <laughs> but if you made it this far in the video, go into the comments and type logic gates in Minecraft. So that way I know you made it this far. Please do remember to hit that like button and subscribe if you'd like to see more content like this. I'd like to thank you all for watching and wish you all a wonderful day. Logic gates in Minecraft.